Hi, my name is Ilya Morif and in this video we will talk about the installation of DLB4. I will show some installation options, go through scripts and run one of the built-in tutorials. This is the GitHub page of our repository and here we organized versions of the code into branches shown here. And in the name of the branch the later part stands for the version of OpenFOAM itself and the first part stands for the version of DLB form. And version 1.0 supports reference mapper and load balancer only, and version 1.1 supports PyJack and Lapak on top of that. Here is the readme of our repository, and I recommend you to read it through before installing and running the code. And uh, let's go together through some parts. So you in order to compile the code, of course, you would need a correct OpenFOAM installation with the version you would like to use. You would also need the LAPAC library, which is not a library, it is an interface to a library. Actually, so it has multiple implementations shown here. We will discuss it a bit later. You would need also a CMake, and optionally you can use this utility city to foam to convert the chemical kinetic mechanism from Kemkin format to open form format and also to PyJack and eventually to the format supported by DLB form. It will be discussed in the following video. So let's first source the correct open form version we are going to use and in my case this will be open form 8. Then let's go to the installation folder. I will install it to this folder and now we need to clone the repository for this we need to the address which you can copy from here and using command git clone and pasting the link you will then load all the contents of the repository to your local computer as you see here then according to the readme you need to run this one command to install everything required and there are two options provided clean option which will make sure that all the remainings from the previous installation are removed and then you need to also choose the version the type of the LAPAC installation and in this video I will use the standalone installation as the easiest way to go on a personal computer as you can install it from a standard Linux repository using this command for example or slightly modified command uh, using different package managers I have it already installed so I can simply run this command to make sure once again that it is installed and see if it prints something yeah it prints so this library is already found in my computer another options are in this Intel MKL and OpenBlast implementations of LAPAC and Intel MKL is more optimized for Intel computers so an open blast for say AMD uh, I would recommend using them on clusters and usually they are already available on clusters so connect your administrator for that but if you need to install it you can follow these guidelines follow these links and one thing you need to keep in mind that after installation you need to have the pass to the installation folder of the Intel MKL library for example set to this environment variable and for OpenBlast to this environment variable. So let's copy the command, compilation command and choose the standalone installation and it says that OpenFOAM 8 is not supported. This is because uh, by default DLB form repository now is set to open form 9 branch so we need to change the branch to this one version 1.1 open form 8 open form 8 git checkout okay we are now on that branch and we can try this comment again and the compilation started and while it is compiling we can go through we can quickly go through the script that we are executing right now all w make you can skip this se uh, 
section of the video I will just explain what is being compiled right now. So first the script runs a check if the open form version is correct and you have already seen the output of this check. Then if you choose Intel MKL installation it will check if the pass that I was talking about is set to the environment variable, the same goes with OpenBLAS. It will also check if you have the CMake available as it is needed by WMake. This is simply parsing of the arguments clean and platform I mentioned before. And here is the all the magic uh, regarding the LAPAC installation. So if you choose the Intel MKL installation, it will copy the corresponding make options file to the default make options location, which is used by WMake script. The same with OpenBLAS and the same with standalone. So now the script copied this file to the default location of the make options. Then the mm, cleaning script is executed, the script will simply remove all the remainings of previous installation. And after that, the two libraries are compiled. The chemistry model library containing two chemistry models, one with load balancer and reference mapper, and another with PyJack and LAPAC on top of that. Then the OD DLB library is compiled, which contains the modified Soilex solver version which includes uh, the calls to the LAPAC function and uh, the support and calls for the PyJack. Then this is basically it so at this point DLB form is as a library is already compiled and you can use it and now we go to compile some tests. First the test mechanism is compiled and the PyJack mechanism format is basically a collection of C source files generated from the Kemkin files. So these source files are then compiled by using this script. After the source files are compiled by into a mechanism recognized by the TLB form, the a collection of unit tests is compiled which tests if the load balancer is working properly. And then we go to and compile a partially stored reactor test which will validate the deal before on a solution of a test problem. First of all the PyJack and LAPAC and then also it will check the performance of the solver here. So this is just the compilation of tests and after tests are compiled, these tests are executed here. And finally, if all tests are passed, we go to the last part and copy some of the test, not test, but some of the mechanism we ship with DLB form solver. Let's simply go to that folder here. So this there are three mechanisms, the reduced GRI three mechanism, DRAM19, GRI mechanism and YAO mechanism. And as I was saying, these mechanisms are basically a collection of C files for compilation. For example, these are responsible for Jacobian evaluation, for derivative evaluation as discussed in the previous video. These are compiled in a sing single file which is then linked to DLB form in a system control dict file. So this is the output of PyJack. This is the mechanism and what we do, we simply comp copy the contents of this mechanism to tutorials folder. And this is done not to duplicate the code. So we simply take uh, some me YAO mechanism and put it to this solver, to the PyJack folder, and then we take the GRI mechanism and put it to the 0D form tutorial, again to the PyJack folder. And that's it. And meanwhile, 
this was the compilation of the test mechanism here and now now it compiled all the tests yeah and all tests are run and we can see all this green statements that all tests passed so we can now run our our tutorial for example reacting foam tutorial shear layer with spyjack and what we need to do we can simply execute this all run script as for any other open form tutorial and let's while it is compiling the mechanism let's go through the all run script also so first what we do it goes to the folder where we copied the contents of the mechanism and uh, runs the cmake for that mechanism which is happening right now in the terminal after it will be completed it will go back and copy the open form dictionaries related to mechanism to the constant folder and copy the compiled library file also to the constant form folder since it is uh, linked to that folder in system control dict here constant form and then it will run block mesh determine the number of processors we have put this number of processors to the system decompose part dict to run in parallel clean the case uh, copy the zero folder again and decompose the case and run the reacting foam solver in parallel but it runs it silently so we don't see an output here but we can go to a new terminal window and for example using this command we can follow what is happening in the solver and the solution is here so i hope this tu tutorial was useful for you